Over the holidays, I posted a lot of pictures with some fancy schmancy ingredients, especially some grade double A Santa Barbara searchin uh, and some gorgeous caviar and some beautiful tuna. And I wanted to show you how I make a very simple noodle dish using the sort of the flip side of that ingredient package. Um, I've got some dashi. Uh, this is Japanese stock that's made with kombu and uh, shaved smoke fermented skipjack tuna uh, shavings. Some sake, some lemon, uh, some really nice sashimi togarashi. This is spicy Japanese seven spice. This particular one is uh, got a lot of smoky uh, sesame and orange peel flavor in it. I've got some scallions a little bit of nori and about 50 grams of frozen sea urchin um, of a, a much less desirable uh, quality. Very, very inexpensive stuff. And uh, what I've done is I took about uh, a cup of dashi, about a third of a cup of sake, about a quarter cup of mirin, and about two tablespoons of soy sauce. And I'm just gonna reduce that to about, oh, well, right now it's about a half cup. I'm probably gonna reduce it to about a quarter of a cup. Yeah, it's Luca, is this your favorite? I'm gonna reduce it to about a quarter of a cup. I'm going to add my searchin. I'm going to add some butter and I'm gonna puree it with an immersion wand, season it with a little bit of lemon juice, and then I'm gonna use it to dress a very thin uh, noodle. This is a Japanese somen noodle. And you can use them hot, uh, but I love them cold. If you bring them to a boil, let them cook for a minute, they get tender, and then submerge them in ice uh, with water, uh, and shock them, they get very, very chewy and bouncy which is a highly prized texture uh, in many parts of Asia, uh, and especially with this noodle, and it's one that I love. And it's just gonna be a super simple, easy, quick noodle recipe that if you have these pantry ingredients on hand, is gonna be easy to execute. Well, Luca loves noodles, that's for sure. Uh, I've got water. I'm gonna bring this up to a simmer. And when it starts simmering, I'm going to add my somen. Oh, it's starting right now. Um, and I just, you know, turn this every couple of strands that I put in there just so it's super easy for it to fit into the pan. I like cooking noodles like these in a shallower pan like this. This will take literally uh, moments to, well, I shouldn't lie. It takes about two, two and a half minutes to cook. Uh, and I'll taste it a couple of times. Um, rapidly boiling salted water is what I'm looking for when I cook. And we're almost at the point where we have sort of a nice syrupy, glazy sauce to emulsify our butter and sear chin in. Starting to get yummy. All right, I'm just gonna quickly drain these. And I'm gonna put them right into the ice. The idea being that you wanna, I mean, just rapidly drop the temperature on the noodles. The faster, that we do that, the chewier, and I mean that in a good way, the more QQ, the more bouncy, the more textural the noodles become. These are already sort of ice cold now just by manipulating them for a few seconds in this 33 degree water. Those are gonna be absolutely perfect. Next thing we want to do is we want to take a look at our sauce. This mixture has reduced to a few tablespoons and I'm going to put my sear chin 
in there. And I'm going to add just a little bit of butter. About two tablespoons. I'm going to puree this. So I always find it useful to drain noodles in a bowl with a towel. And the best thing about it is that you can separate them into portions that way. They just drip dry a lot more efficiently. I don't want water. In this dish, it's gonna be very, very simple. Season my sear chin sauce with a little bit of lemon. Let's bring our noodle bowl where we want it. This is my first batch of noodles. Put that there. We made enough sauce. I mean, the sauce is the thing, right? We made a sauce for about two portions, a little bit of scallion, bottoms on one side, scallion minced tops on the other, a little bit of that delicious sesame seed and chili togarashi. And I really love the taste of nori with that and it's beautiful as well. So, that's pretty easy. Let's see, let's see how this tastes. You wanna do this tsukamen style? Well, I'm not gonna stop you. Who doesn't love sea urchin? Mm. Go ahead and make this the next time you see sea urchin on sale at a fish market or a Japanese store in the freezer. You don't think that you can make something delicious out of that? You are so wrong. Mmm. That lemon and that soy dashi sake mirin reduction blended with the butter and the sea urchin is absolutely out of control. I could just drink this. It's so delicious and such a great way to utilize an item that's always on sale that Japanese markets really want to move. You know, the sea urchin is such a, um, a, 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 a fragile, uh, food product, you know, they, they freeze it, you get your best deals on frozen urchin. So use that for Japanese noodle dishes. You will not be sorry.